I shine. They think I'm out of my mind. One chance, we own. Take another look, you know that we gone. Came from the ground and we crawling up. You can feel it in your fist when you ball it up. Hey, greetings everybody, what's going on? A uh, whole lot of stuff going on, and a lot of stuff to address. A lot of strange, strange, strange things to address. And wrestling. Yeah, that probably goes with the same thing with uh, a lot of things to address. But just one thing at a time, Gary's few minutes, roll the introduction. doing my name is Gary Norman you know who I am you know what I do today is Monday 26 2015 why is that important because I said it's important and you should like it that way now I've seen a lot of stuff on Facebook a lot of stuff on Facebook a lot of stuff on social media about this whole thirst thing I've seen a lot of messages on how most guys and some women for that matter but I out there now I've just been sending these very strange, <laughs> strange sexual messages or just, just stuff that you just wouldn't say out in public. Okay, wait, no, I take that back. Some people actually have said a lot of things out in public. It, 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 it's just weird. It's, most people act like they never, ever touched a woman before. I mean, geez. What is, and then sometimes, for that matter, what is wrong with being thirsty? There is absolutely wrong, nothing wrong at all with being thirsty. Unless it's total obsession and it makes you do really stupid things that makes you come out to be a jerk. Then I can understand that. I'm just going to simply say this. Stop that! I mean, seriously, it's bad enough that most men, and most women for that matter, get bad raps for or talking uh, dirty talking dirty doesn't get you anywhere it goes along with the taking pictures of tongues out and stuff like that but then again come you know this coming from the guy that has an Optimus Prime mask on his Facebook and very other odd stuff and then again with the Gary Norman a few minutes videos no that doesn't count for me I'm not thirsty I don't have to go out and just try to Talk dirty and stuff like that. Thirsty, jeez. That's just a ridiculous concept. Just ridiculous. I don't understand it. Okay. It's something. It, it, it just. I, I don't understand it. What is the purpose of coming on here and saying these. Big old lines of this, oh, I want to suck your toes and lick your feet. Even though you don't know me, I'm going to talk about this sex stuff to you. It's going to so turn me on, and they're just going to say, oh, I just tell you what you want. Yeah, kind of turned a different accent that night. Weird. It's bad enough that most people can't communicate as it is, and then nine times out of ten, when we do communicate, we sound like odd people coming from the odd guy but it's ridiculous I mean well I don't understand it why can't thirst just mean water not I want to suck on your boob or smack your butt or you know look at your naked body it's ridiculous It's just, it makes no sense to me at all that we, we get these kind of raps that we have to feel that. And, and I know most people have common sense, some. I'm going to say, oh, there's a lot of strange people out there that just think that, you know, if we put on this bravado, they have to put on this ego, <clears throat> that we can get any girl or guy that we want. 
odd I know. <laughs> but all the stuff that I have seen on threads, social media, even with uh, videos and, and TV, is just ridiculous. And then we feel that we can imitate that. We'll get that same look. And we won't. It just doesn't happen that way sometimes. Be yourself. If yourself involved being that kind of thirsty, then quench your thirst by looking at a magazine or something. You're giving other people bad raps. Stop that. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I, you know. Again, form of communication is a lot easier to be the real you, and you never know. People will like, sometimes will like that. Maybe you're just not for them. Maybe they're just not for you. But if you had to feel that sex is the first thing that's on your mind behind the computer because you feel like they won't punch you in the face, just remember, they can always copy and paste your picture and you'll be known as that thirsty person all over the internet. And, you know, who wants a thirsty person? On to better and awkward things. The Royal Rumble last night. I personally didn't have a problem with it. With a couple of exceptions. First off, Brock Lesnar. <clears throat> the, the triple threat match, Cena, Lesnar, and Rollins. I actually didn't find nothing wrong with it up until the point where, you know, uh, Lesnar kind of hurt his rib there. It looked like it, it looked like it hurt. If you saw that slow motion, for those of you who actually saw the pay-per-view, <clears throat> came off with that elbow and landed right on his ribs. How he got up? Well, okay. He's kind of the beast incarnate. <laughs> but, yeah. That, it was a very good match. Granted that. Now, the Royal Rumble match itself, I'm not going to speak most on it. All I'm going to say is it was okay. Up until the point where Daniel Bryan got eliminated and then everybody just started disrespecting the Royal Rumble match. That's the first time next to the Batista thing see other video uh, last year for that one. Okay, fine, fair enough. I, I was a little vocal on that one. All I know is Batista is probably somewhere laughing at range right now. I feel sorry for the guy. And then The Rock comes out to try to save face. But even when The Rock can't save you, something's wrong. Which leads me to the question, why do we hate Roman so much? Is it because Daniel Bryan didn't win or Dolph Ziggler didn't win? Granted, let's be honest here. If Dolph Z uh, Ziggler won, his mouth would just get him back in trouble. And they'll find some way to screw him anyway. Uh, Daniel Bryan, yes. You know, I, it would have been great to see him in the Royal Rumble. But didn't we already see that show already? Didn't we see him already win the world title in the pursuit? It's time to try a different direction. Now, I know back then most people wouldn't even complain about this kind of thing. But now, we're at a new age now where we're just going to be vocal. And even though we're going to boot through a whole show that we paid to come and see, just because you paid to come and see a pay-per-view, folks, doesn't mean you're always going to get what you want. You get what you get. And for those who are complaining about it on TV, it's always good to change the channel. For the network, you can always just pause it and fast forward. It's simple as that. Go back to the 90s where everybody got what they wanted for the, you know, and yeah, that's pretty much it on that. No problem with the Rumble. Congratulations, Roman Reigns. You deserve it. You deserved it last year, but then, you know, I bet you last year nobody would have booed him then if he won. Of course, then you had them, Batista. And, yeah, that was a lesser of two evils. I guess we'll never really know. So, with that, let's give you a couple of updates. Uh, Gary's One Man Gaming will start next week. Um, it will start this week, actually. Unfortunately, my uh, <clears throat> my video capture card took a poo. And for some reason, I, I think it wanted it to work. But then again, I haven't used it for so long. And it just kind of died. I'm getting a new one, don't worry. And then uh, I'll be playing my commentary. Um... People can su suggest on the links or on my Facebook uh, some games that I will play and I will rent them and I will try them out just to indulge my fans. Just please don't get me into any like girly, girly 
games. So I, I have audio commentary now. I'll tell you how I feel about it as I'm playing it. I know some of you might like that. Thinking very bad things for me. Thirsty. <clears throat> so, what else? Movie Madness. Uh, I'm not sure if I should start that now or start that in the spring where things will get um, a lot less hectic. I mean, we're still going on, going on the post after holidays or whatever. And then Valentine's Day is coming up, folks. Don't think I haven't had thought of a Valentine's Day video because that's coming up. I'm going to hammer home that people need to fall in love and be happy and share their lives together. But that's for another video. Um, a whole lot of things coming together. So, in closing, I'm going to say, like I said, people, all this stuff about being thirsty and all that, it's just it's ridiculous, okay? We need to stop that. Drink more water. And that way, when you get to that moment where somebody wants you, you will have... You will have just about enough to get through that evening of very nice passion. Get to know somebody first before you're thinking of wanting to get laid with them first. It's ridiculous. So, Gary Norman's few minutes. You know who I am. You know what I do. Make sure you subscribe, comment, send some ideas. I'm going to drink some water. Ah, some good water. I do my thumbs up when I'm drinking. You know who I am.